Hi everyone, it's Morgan. I have been wanting to figure out how to best grow my lashes. I mean, who doesn't want naturally long, pretty eyelashes? So I've been looking into like a lot of different serums and things like that, but they are just more money than I want to spend usually. A lot of them are kind of on the pricier side and I just never know if they're actually gonna work or even just like work on me personally. So I'm really hesitant to spend all that money and like not see results. But I knew that castor oil promoted hair growth, so I decided to look into that and it was pretty cheap so I decided I would give it a try so castor oil if you don't know I looked it up it's supposed to promote hair growth prevent hair loss and then also just like help the overall health of your hair some people use it on like their actual hair some people do eyelashes some people do eyebrows so I wanted to give it a try there are two different types of castor oil the first one is called cold pressed castor oil and I just read that this one was shown to be less effective, so I obviously went with the second type, which is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I read that this was like the preferred choice over the other one. Now, neither are clinically proven to work for everyone, but this one was preferred over the other one. So obviously, I went with this one. I got this for $9 off of Amazon, and I will definitely link it below. Since it was $9, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna try this. Why not? Might as well. Maybe it'll even work. Who knows? But like, I'm so much more willing to spend $9 on something to try it out than like 30 or 40 or $50 on something that I'm testing and not even guaranteed anything. So what I did, I used this for 30 days. I applied it every single night. I did not miss one day. I was very religious about it. I wanted to be very true to this experiment. Like I wanted my results to be very realistic. So I used it every single night. I just kind of incorporated this into my nighttime skincare routine. So after I would wash my face, I would do all my other stuff, moisturize, whatnot. Then I would apply the castor oil as the last step. All I would do is I would put a little bit on a q-tip and I would rub it over my lash line as well as coat my lashes over top and even throughout the bottom and kind of lift them up. Now you have to be very gentle. Remember, you're like rubbing your eyelashes. You don't want to be too harsh. You don't want to be making them fall out. You're not trying to pull them out. You're trying to lengthen them, right? So you have to be very gentle. Your eyes and your eyelashes are very sensitive. If you don't want to just use a Q-tip, you can easily buy like a clear bottle with a little spoolie on it so you can apply it like mascara. I found using a Q-tip was really easy, so I didn't do that, but that is always an option. I will link this below too. If you do get it a little close to your eye or if some actually gets in your eye it doesn't burn it doesn't sting obviously you should clean it out but it does not hurt you which is really nice that also makes me feel a little less worried and a little less scared to be using it every day and be trying it so I would sleep with it all night and then when I wake up the next morning and wash my face I would just wash the leftover all off and then I took a picture of it every day like the following morning so I'd sleep with it on and then day one I took a picture the next morning day two next morning next morning next morning so I took 30 pictures one for for every single day and I wanted to just kind of give you a slideshow of the comparison so you can see how they've changed and hopefully see kind of like how they've grown throughout the past month. I'm gonna go ahead and show you like kind of my first appliance and then jump right into the slideshow and then give you a nice comparison for the after. applying castor oil. So let's put a little on a q-tip and rub it near my eyelashes. So let's just um okay. I'm just really like coating my lashes and then also going on my top lash line as close as I can. I mean I feel like getting in the roots would be smart. So first application done. So this is my eyelashes today, no makeup. I actually never curl my lashes, so this is just them fresh after I woke up and washed my face. That's why they look probably a little red. I'm like waking up still, so. Okay, what do you think? I was really 
impressed with this. Not gonna lie, I bought it and I really wasn't expecting anything. I didn't really believe in it. I was like, yeah, it could promote hair growth, whatever that means, but I didn't think I would actually see any different. Now, if you look at my before picture and my picture from literally this morning, oh my goodness, there is such a difference. Not only are my lashes longer, they are also thicker. I feel like they just feel fuller. And then when I go to apply mascara, it feels different than before. Like I always use primer. So I use the primer and my eyelashes just look so great. And then all of a sudden I put on the mascara and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, are these real? They feel so good. And I feel like having really strong, thick, long lashes make me feel really like pretty and feminine because that's such like a feminine characteristic. And it like gives me more confidence. Like I love having really nice lashes and it almost makes me feel like I can wear less makeup then. And again, as I'm putting on this mascara, I did not curl my lashes before or after the mascara. I just don't usually do that. So this is them like just with the castor oil, the growth, the primer, the mascara. I always use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I love this mascara. It is my all-time favorite and I will use it every single day. I will link that below too. When I'm applying my mascara too, I feel like it just goes on nicer and I don't always have to try to separate my lashes. Sometimes I'll use this tool and I will go and brush out and kind of separate my lashes, but I feel like I have to do that less because my lashes feel thicker and I just feel like they don't get as stuck together. Remember, this castor oil was literally $9 and it showed such a difference. Like you need to start using this. I highly, highly, recommend starting this. It's so easy to just add into your nighttime skincare routine. It's cheap. It's affordable. It's worth it. You can get it at like any drugstore. Mine's from Amazon. Now that I know it works with my eyelashes, I'm even kind of thinking about trying it with my eyebrows. Just because I have some like gaps in my eyebrows, this could help fill those in naturally. So I kind of want to try that. But you guys should really give this a try. I am so impressed and I'm so happy I finally did this and I didn't waste so much money on a lash serum when I could spend $9 and get probably a similar result. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you want to try this out. Everything is linked below. Make sure to give this video a like, throw me a comment. It really helps me out so much. Thank you guys and I'll see you in my next one.